John is super competitive. Very focused, laser focused. He really focuses simplistically on what needs to be accomplished. But John's the kind of guy that's always wanted to win the right way. He still maintained all those other qualities that just make him a, a fine human being. You gotta be creative, you gotta be imaginative about it. You gotta break the mold, so to speak. And that's what business is all about. And I learned those skills in, in South Central LA. You know, finding a way and believing in myself. How many places in the world can you have the opportunity to go to fantastic schools, work for a fantastic company, and have the kind of career that he's had? It's a great American story. Alumnus John Harris, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Nestle Waters, exemplifies the ideal qualities of a 21st century leader. To his colleagues within the Nestle group of companies, he's a trusted friend and role model who epitomizes the company's values and principles. Prior to serving in his current post, John was responsible for Nestle Purina's operations in Europe, Asia, Oceania, and Africa. And before that, John held various leadership positions with the Carnation Company and later Frisky's Pet Care, both part of the Nestle family. The reason why I stayed for 38 years it's because of the opportunity. We're not going to find a company that offers you more opportunity than Nestle. I think John's biggest impact is his focus on performance. From the day I met John till today, and that's roughly 30 years, he talks about performance whenever he talks about business. And he had that impact here domestically, and I think importantly he's had that impact globally too. And you got to remember we're a Swiss-owned company and 150 years of experience. And I think John is one of the first two, three, or four Americans that have ever been on that executive board. And I think what John's been able to do is bring an American business perspective to a European global company. John was named chairman of Nestle Waters in December 2007. And one year later, he was appointed CEO as well. John is responsible for overseeing over 30,000 employees and a portfolio of 67 unique brands. Nestle is the world's largest bottler of water, with production in nearly 40 countries and annual sales in excess of $8.2 billion. John recognizes his company's responsibility as a corporate citizen. Nestle Waters leads the industry in addressing global and region-specific environmental concerns and other societal issues relating to water management and hydration. In keeping with Nestle's vision and training philosophy, Nestle Waters offers a range of employee educational programs in core skills and management and leadership development. Mentoring is important to John, I think, on many levels. He's helped lots of people along in their career, and he realizes that the company is going to do better, the better people that we have going forward. And I think he realizes that for society, too. Is there anything that you could pick from your life that you could say to a young person today that they could use to nurture that, that kind of self-confidence? You can if you choose to. You just have to choose to. You can be a businessman, you can be a doctor, but you have to choose to. And oftentimes we forget to tell our young people that, hey, you gotta want to, then you gotta work at it. He really feels like it's his responsibility to develop the next generation of business leaders. Um, we established a scholarship at Crenshaw High School, his alma mater, he's looking to established scholarships other places so he's really using the resources that he's gained over the years to help young people be the very best that they can be. In 2008, John was highlighted as one of the world's emerging black leaders in Ebony Magazine's feature, 20 Rising Stars. And in 2009, he was named to Black Enterprise Magazine's 100 Most Powerful in Corporate America. For years, John talked about how Cal State Northridge helped him become the person that he really is. He talked about the relationships he developed, the professors he had, and, and the fact that they believed in him gave him the confidence to be the success he is today. John's lesson to our students is that you have to always honor your potential, and there's no limit to what you can accomplish if you allow yourself to continue to be receptive to opportunities and to always pursue excellence. John, all of us here at Nestle want to say congratulations first, and importantly, that we're going to donate to the Cal State Northridge Scholarship Fund in your name. Hopefully, it's going to start the next John Harris on their career path. So 
Uh, well done, my friend. I can't wait to shake your hand afterwards, and uh, there isn't a more deserving guy. Congratulations.